welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new my name is selena and today we're gonna do a cooking with lena segment okay if you're new or just haven't been following i am 27 days post-op i have vsg um august 19th so i'm 27 days post out today um we are going to do a cooking with lena as i stated but before we get started don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications on because you guys know i come with a video every single day and why would you want to miss it i mean come on it's me <laughs> but no so today we're going to make like a crab salad type of vibe um i love this just when before I had surgery and I figured out a way to make it bariatric friendly so stay tuned I'm going to show you guys the simple ingredients that you guys need and we'll get started okay so this is what you're going to need um we're going to have our empty bowl right here um you're going to need dill weed as well you can get fresh dill um but my store at the time did not have it so I just picked this up you're also going to want a lemon um the dill was like four dollars the lemon was like uh, 80 cents um you're also going to want some crab meat so i like this because it has the um nutrients on the back are really good so it has 0.5 grams of fat um it has no carbs you guys can see no carbs no sugar 17 grams of protein so this is super super good but let me tell you about this real fast so i got this at kroger's i thought it was like 11 dollars, but it was really 23 dollars. so yeah now you can use like the imitation crab but i suggest getting this or like getting fresh crab because the nutrients in it are bomb.com how many calories okay so yeah it has 70 calories per serving um or 200 for this whole thing so this is really really good because it does have 17 grams of protein in there so if you can afford this i would get this the imitation crab i know has carbs in it i don't know how much carbs but i know for sure it does have at least one or two carbs in it per serving you're also going to want some mayo you guys know i like the avocado mayo and then you're going to want some salt as well um so let me tell you guys i'm gonna show you guys how to put this together it's super super simple and super quick so let's get started okay so we're going to start off by putting our um crab in here I'm not gonna use all of it because it's kind of a lot. So I put about half in there um, and then we're gonna save the rest or I don't know, something else. <laughs> so, and then we're gonna... Okay, so and then we're gonna grab our mayo and I try to measure for you guys, but you know I don't really measure things, so. We're gonna start off with a tablespoon of mayo. And I know we're gonna need more than that, so. We're gonna do two tablespoons. And so with this, you don't want to um, really squish your um, crab or like chop it up. You want it to be, you know, bigger. Mm -hmm bigger pieces um you know being bariatric patient sometimes it is easier if we do have smaller pieces so if it's better for you you can do bigger pieces and i'm going to add one more tablespoon of mayo just because we want it saucy, okay? So yeah, this should be good. If you do put um, like too much mayo, if you do start with half of the like can, then you can go ahead and um, you can always put more crab in there. Um, okay, so we have that all mixed up. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our dill and put a little bit of that in there. And mix that. And 
And then we're also gonna put a little bit of pink Himalaya salt in there. Ooh, it wasn't coming out, sorry. So I put like two actual twists in there. And you're gonna wanna stir this very, very softly, okay? And this recipe is super, super simple. Like, I actually think I like this better than tuna, okay? And you guys know I like my tuna. So the last ingredient is literally just lemon. You can put as little or as much as you want. Make sure the seeds are not in there. Make sure the seeds aren't in there because, you know, we can't eat seeds, so. And a normal, like, normally I feel like people put, you know, like onions, like raw onions. Um, I think some people put like celery, like just different type of, uh, they put peppers in here, different type of raw vegetables, but we're not gonna do that because technically we shouldn't be eating raw vegetables. And you guys know I did make an onion soup. That was okay for me, but I'm finding the further I, out I am, the less onions I can tolerate. So with that being said, this is all done. Super, super quick, like I said. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a close up, give me one second. Friends, so super, super easy, like I said. It doesn't take much um, and it's complete. What I normally do is I will measure out two ounces um, and then pretty much eat two ounces i'm gonna try this for you guys um i'm the only one eating this so i'm gonna use the same spoon i love this so much like fresh crab bomb.com that's why I like fresh crab better than the imitation crab. And this is going to give you like the taste of crab salad if you like crab salad. And then also try this if you can't if you can't tolerate tuna, to be honest. Um, you can always squish it a little bit, like mush it a little bit more so it's so, um, smaller. But this is super, super quick and super easy and it's delicious. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on because you guys know I come with a video every single day. And why would you want to miss it? Until next time, bye, friends. Bitches and all.